We've had a couple of monster storms, but it's been dry now for weeks. And that whiplash between wet and dry weather could be a trend to get used to, thanks to climate change. From month to month this year, with a very wet October, very dry November, very wet December, very dry <laughs> January, and who knows what's going to happen in February and March. Which has some people wondering if this is the start of, or part of, a mega drought. It's, it's like the spigot's been on and the spigot's been off. UC Davis professor um, Jay Lund so says point, California could enter a third year of drought. It looks like with, with the warming climate and climate change that it's going to become more like this. Should we be thinking in, uh, in terms of adapting to climate change at this point? Absolutely. Um, basically Think dry when, forest. Which lengthens the fire seasons, which makes it more likely that we're going to have more fires and bigger fires. Agriculture. So we're talking about fallowed fields? Yeah, I, I think particularly in the San Joaquin Valley, there's going to be probably half a million to a million acres of irrigated lands that have to become fallow. Professor Lund says climate change appears to be making smaller droughts bigger. And so we have less runoff in the spring. And also the higher temperatures cause more of that average precipitation to evaporate away before it can become stream flow or recharge aquifers. There is some academic debate over whether California actually is in a mega drought. That is a drought lasting for decades or even centuries. But bottom line here is that we are still in drought and that conservation is key.